I want people when they come in here to experience what I, how we see the city. Whether you're from Austin or San Antonio or Chicago or even in Houston, you know, anywhere in the city. That when you eat here, when you leave, you'd be like, I kind of felt like I saw the city. We decided at the beginning, before we opened up, that we wanted to do some kind of map, if you will. 50 photos with the zip code on it, and then like people or places or restaurants or dishes that I feel are very important to the city. Yeah, working with PJ has always been fun. We've been working together for a long time. I started messing with fish and I was going from the coast to all of, well, the northern part of the Texas coast to Austin. And so I dropped off a list of fish that I could get a hold of to a few restaurants in Houston. I looked at the menu and the menus looked like they could be compatible with what I could offer, I guess. And Chris was at Catalan and he was one of the first people to call back immediately and then that's always been selling fish to him ever since. He's gonna bring me something and be like, well, you need to try this and this is how this is gonna work. And you, you, instead of just shutting it off, I did that forever with Triggerfish. It was like, I'm not gonna use it, I'm not gonna use it, I'm not gonna use it. And then finally one day I was like, okay, let's taste it, let's do this. And then like, I want all that you have. Chris uses ridiculous amounts of small fish all the time. I mean, sure that's Chris innovating, but yeah, that's also like testament to the fact that people are getting real comfortable with navigating around these things. But it's, it's learning um, from other guys, other chefs, other growers, producers, um, learning what they do and then trying to take that music in our way. Mm -hmm.